Welcome to the channel everyone. I've got something really cool for you today. I've got a comparison video between the 2020 Toro Titan with the MyRide system and the brand new 2021 Toro Titan Max. Let's get into it. So we're going to talk about the characteristics and the differences in the two machines. And we're going to talk about which machine I might like better. And then we're also going to talk about some things that I wish Toro would have done. So as always, full disclosure, we have partnered with Toro on this video. But if you've watched my other videos, you know that that does not hold me back from saying what I think and being honest about these mowers. So I want to mention it's our goal too to help you make decisions on what equipment is best for your property. Whether you're a homesteader, a farmer, just a big estate owner, whatever it might be, we're here to help you with those decisions. So let's talk about some of the similarities with these mowers and the first one is price. At the time that I received both of these mowers, this one over a year and a half ago and this one just recently, they were the exact same price which is 5,999 bucks. Each one has great features. It's just going to be what fits you best. So let's talk about the decks. They are the exact same deck. They cut beautifully. They are both 60 inches wide. They have three casters in the front. They've got the 5 8 inch professional uh, belt on them. And it's also super nice that they have the rubber chutes on both decks because that comes into play so much on my property. I have a lot of fruit trees. I'm mowing in and out of things all the time. It's really handy. They all have the four point connection, which I absolutely love. So based on what we present today, I want you to figure out which is the best mower for your property. Being a large property owner and needing to mow a decent amount of it, both of these can handle the job. But like I said, there's one I prefer over the other, but just barely. So besides the deck and the price, there are a lot of differences between these two machines. The Titan MyRide, of course, has the MyRide system, and that is really nice for me because I have a terrible back. I broke it 28 years ago, and anything to give me a little bit more comfort on a really, really rough country property like this is awesome. You can go check out at the top of the screen all of my other review videos on the Titan MyRide. So this MyRide has performed amazingly well over the last year plus that I've had it. It's taken pretty much everything that I've thrown at it. It has the big 24 and a half horse Toro branded engine, which gives you a lot of power. It has serviceable 2800 hydro transmissions. So I find the transmissions on my Toro Titan MyRide to be stiff, um, although they're very, very smooth. Then the reaction time on them was actually way better than my Xmark Quest S, but that is a grade lower. This is a grade above that and while they're, they're really, really smooth, their response time is maybe a little bit less, definitely less than the Max. So while I really like the power that this Toro 24 and a half horse engine puts out, this V-Twin with a commercial air cleaner on it, which is very, very nice by the way, uh, it, it lacks just a tiny bit of power, just a tiny bit of power on my property personally. So I've got really tough hay grasses, on my other property or over there across uh, the the dry creek if you've seen those other videos and it it doesn't struggle but it's just on the edge of struggling just on the edge it handles it but it could use just a little bit more power so i mow about four and a half to five acres of my eight acres now in terms of the gas tank this one has a slightly smaller gas tank than the other one and while i can cut actually my property two times with the amount of fuel that i have in this five gallon tank on the tour titan my ride the max has a seven gallon tank so it lasts me pretty much three cuttings almost three cuttings on the property which is really really cool so you can see, this is a really comfortable high back seat on the Toro Titan, the MyRide right here, but look over here. This one is amazing. Look how high it is and how contoured it is. It uh, really keeps you planted in that seat really well, especially having that seat belt on. It is a really, really nice feature to have when you're bouncing around on rough properties like mine. 
And the cut quality on both of these, like I said, it's the same deck, so it's, it's fantastic. But the one thing that's different about the two is the Max is a little bit taller. So you get a cut from either one and a half to five inches and or between one and a half and five inches and on this uh my ride this regular titan it's from one and a half to four and a half inches so an extra half inch up if you're doing um fields quote unquote like i am kind of big property big open area fields that you need to get knocked down that one is actually just a touch better because it's not digging down as much and it is uh, using that power really more efficiently just with that half inch difference and with this original Titan that I had here, I love, love, love the fuel gauge. I love it. It's awesome. And it, it, even though it's hard to see, I can look and peer down bes beside that seat and get an accurate reading as to the fuel. And the controls, perfectly fine, perfectly nice. Everything, I, I, I love the mower. I absolutely love this mower. Over here though, <clears throat> over here, I wish, please Toro, I wish you would have put in the gas gauge, the normal gas gauge on this mower because it's got the see-through window and on my property, it's so dirty and dusty in the summertime when it's dry here that you just, I, I can't really tell how much fuel is in there at all. You have to like keep wiping it with a wet cloth. Bring back the gauge, please. But these controls over here on the Titan Max are a step above. They have a, this really nice panel that gives you a lot of different readouts for you know your battery voltage and your hours and a couple other things on startup. It's really, really a nice thing to have. So let's talk about, let's go back a little bit more. And let's go back to this, uh, this deck adjustment right here. What this has is this professional um, lock here for transport. And that's really cool because when I put it back in my barn, I need it like up at the top of its range to be able to get through some, you know, some really squirrely areas next to my barn and get it parked in there properly. And this one with that lockout is really, really cool, especially if I have to take it on the trailer anywhere, which <clears throat> I don't, but if you have a trailer, if you want to put it up on a trailer, that is a really cool feature to have. All right, we're coming back to the power plant. This Titan Max has got a 7,000 series, 26 horsepower Kohler Pro engine, and it's really, really nice. It has a ton of power. Remember that grass, that Bahia hay grass that I mentioned on our other property over there? Eats it up with no problem at all. It is a absolute beast when it comes to power. And if you need that power, the max is the one for you because that little bit extra, that horsepower and a half is really, it, it starts to push this one up above the other one a little bit, but I'm not gonna tell you which one I like more yet. So let's talk about another obvious difference as the tire size. Look at the meats on this Toro Titan Max. These are 23 by 12s with a really aggressive tread. The others are 22 by 11s, which have been really, really great. But if you've got some steep terrain, the aggressive tread on this is really, really nice. Now, there's one drawback to that. And I'm not a professional lawn care guy at all. You know, I'm just a large homestead owner and it tears things up pretty good. Um, maybe, you know, maybe I don't know how to drive it properly. Maybe I'm not slowing down around the corners properly or whatever it is, but they, they're really aggressive. So just keep that in mind. And on the front, we have the exact same 13 by six and a halfs. Okay, here's one of our biggest differences. That is the frame. You can see that this Max has a completely welded deep, deep frame on it. I think this is two by three. And over here on the Titan, I think it's a two and a half by a two and a half. And then it's bolted to the rest of the frame over here. So we've got different parts and pieces connected over here while we've got a fully pretty much welded frame. You can see all the parts are welded on it all the way back. So this is going to be tougher in my opinion, more rigid, tougher, and it is held or it is uh, held up to everything that I've thrown at it so far. So of course though, the Max has a professional frame. This is the frame from the HD 2000. 
And then obviously this one has a ROPS or rollover protection system and of course the seat belt. It's made for more aggressive uh, areas and uh, this one does not. Although on my property I don't really have an issue. So let's talk about the transmissions for this Max. They are the ZT3100s. They are a professional grade transmission, obviously serviceable, and you can see the, uh, the fill container for those transmissions there to monitor the fluid level in them. Now the transmissions on the Max, I've heard actually from a lot of people when I did the initial review on this, and what they don't like is that they're very loud in their operation. Now, I didn't even think about it until I actually pulled these out together and start using them together. They are much, much louder. A lot of people said that they've taken them in for service because they thought that there was something wrong with them. But for me, they work perfectly fine. They're very responsive and uh, I've had zero trouble with them. I, I love the way the thing drives. Um, like I said, these are way more stiff. Uh, the 2800s are way stiffer than the 3100s, um, but smoother. So I guess take your pick. And I haven't, like I said, I haven't had any problems with, with either of them. I like both of them. I actually do like the way the transmissions feel on the Max a little bit better. So we're gonna take both of these for a spin for you and show you how they cut. And then I'm gonna tell you which one I prefer. I just wanted to make a quick mention about the parking brake on each one of them. This one is very easy to move. It's, it's, you barely have to push on it to knock it down out of park. And I actually see that as a disadvantage. The other one you have to kind of push sideways and push down. So I've actually had this one disengage for me um, and it's probably because I didn't lock it completely up, but it's very smooth and I like it because it doesn't take much effort to just knock it down. But I do prefer the other one that comes back and locks just a little bit better. I don't know why they're different design. Maybe it's because the My Ride system is on there. They had to configure something a little bit different than this, but that's just my opinion. Well, there you go. Could you hear the difference in the two? There was a slight bit of power difference that you can hear when I really run it through that rough stuff. And obviously both decks are the same, so they can handle it with no problem. However, the little bit of power, the little bit of extra power with that Max does make a difference. So one thing that might help you make a decision between the two is also the speed. Now on the Max, it's up to nine miles an hour, and on the regular Titan with my ride system, it's up to eight and a half miles an hour. Although I can tell you that that one feels way faster than this one. Okay, my pick. My pick for my property is the Max. Simply because it has more power and the operation of the transmissions is a little bit, like I said, this, my ride is smooth, but it's stiff. So this is a little more loose and fluid. So I like the operation of the Max a little bit better. Plus it's got the ROPS. If I get into a squirrely area, it, it's rare, but I can. Uh, it's got the higher back seat, which is very comfortable. Although the My Ride system on my back is awesome. I love that feature of this one. But this one tops it for me. I, I've got to, I gotta go with the max on this, especially if it's the same price, because just that the transmission, the operation of it, and the power of it, all, all those three things combined. If they would put that air canister on the Kohler engine, if they would put the gas gauge on the max, oh man, I would be a happy camper. But I know you can't like combine both of them. They're two totally separate mowers. So you have to find the one that's right for you. So I just want to say there are no negatives on either of these, 
but it's just personal preference and the type of property that you have that'll determine which one is good for you. Now go check out this video right here, which is the full playlist of all of the mowers and blowers and all of the equipment that we test and have here on our homestead. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye.